Big Mac Mike 108 here once again with another PSP tutorial. This tutorial will consist of the YouTube downloader, YouTube, and your PSP manuscript. What you're going to need is an in your browser internet connection and the ability to download. You need YouTube downloader, you're going to need your PSP, a memory stick. Or, or a memory card, um, a USB cable or memory card slot in your computer, and a PSP of course. First of all, what you want to do is you want to get YouTube Downloader if you do not have it already. Open up any of your internet browsers. If you only have one, which is mostly IE, that's what everyone has, so I'll be using IE today. Type in YouTube Downloader. First link that you see if I clicked it will be YouTube Downloader software to download and create YouTube videos. You'll have these sub sub links. If you wish, you can go here. I'll open this in a new tab so I can show you this. But what I recommend to do is just click download. It'll take you directly to this page here. Now, I'm going to leave that alone for now, and I'm going to show you what you would get if you click the first link. You would get this page, which is YouTube Downloader version 2.1.6, which is what I got right now. It tells you all the specs, what you need to know, the news, a few screenshots, and of course, your system requirements. System requirements is not that high. It works with XP, Vista, and 1000. Don't worry. You just need Flash Player and 64 megabytes of RAM. Everyone has that. And any Explorer 5.0 or higher. This also works with any other web browser. Okay? Now, as it says here, it also allows you to convert download videos for iPod, iPhone, PSP, and cell phone. Uh, Windows Media, XVID, and MP3. MP3 being it extracts the audio and makes an MP3 file. That's great if you want to download a music video and you don't have any external um, LimeWire, Blobster, um, JamGlue, if you don't have any of that. Okay, what you want to do is you want to click download now. It'll take you to, uh, I think it's download, yeah, download.com. Now, if you do that, you'll come here to download.com. Or, if you wish to use other external links, that's free downloads, snap files, these are usually working, I guess they're down right now. But, download.com is suggested, that's why it takes you directly there. So, if you click it, it's going to take it to the same page, so I'm going to close that. And now we're at download.com. Now what you want to do is you want to download it. Download it to your desktop. That's what I recommend. Or anywhere you wish to view your files. I'm not going to download it, but you can. I already have the installer. Okay. Well, I will minimize this. Now, what you'll get after downloading... this YouTube download exe it's only about four uh, three point four megabytes so don't worry the download shouldn't take long at all I do double click you run it next I agree install see yeah it's done finish I say I save all my installations for anything I have I save the installations just saying that. Downloader on your desktop. Woohoo! Yay, Daddy! This sounds so much fun. Damn you, mad. Damn you. Okay, you have YouTube downloader. Double click. Now we'll come to this. Woohoo! So, now you have YouTube downloader. It says enter video URL. What you want to do is you want to open YouTube. Go to YouTube.com. 
uh, start your video. Downloading does take an approximately um, about five minutes per video if it's a normal video, like music video. If it's an extensive video, longer than about three, four minutes, it will take longer depending on your internet bandwidth and how fast your internet's running. So what you want to do is you want to come up to here to the URL. It's not over here on the side. What you want to do is you want to come to YouTube Downloader and you just move your cruiser over. See how that popped up? I need to hit space. Just move it over. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to set up a default download folder. I the flash file. Flash files are only uh, readable as a uh, with the uh, FOV play player. If you rename, make sure you rename it FOV. Not FOV. If not, it'll be corrupted. Um, FOV files will are let's see, um, do not take as much space as a normal WMV or AVI. Which is why they're easier to convert an FLB player. Close. Now this is what you have. This is what you're going to have. If you have an FLB player, you're down here to convert video. And you want to find that video and double hit. Now, since this is the PSP tutorial, you put PSP. And the reason I say PSP is one, it turns into MPEG-4. And two, it makes it widescreen, which is perfect. So you convert. Okay. I use high and you can also cut the video to which what time you wish for and you can also disable audio if you want to just mix it or montage it yourself so you click OK or convert for those of you that have to make a conversion for yourself ok now I want to close YouTube Downloader open this up now you see there's an mp4 and FLV the mp4 is the one for your PSP so I would just put this to the side now this is where your PSP comes in Okay, you want to plug in your PC now. Get in, make sure it's on your B mode. Uh, I come to this, but I'm gonna continue without scanning. Okay, open folder to view files. Let's take you to the root of your MP, MP PSP. So you do that. Move this across. And now you're at your root of your PSP. This is what a uh, hacked PSP root looks like. A regular PSP root, which is have an MP root, music, picture, PSP, and video. Now, what you want to do is you want to double click video and you want to drag your MP4 into here. Okay, done. You want to close this. Okay, you want to hit circle. Now, you want to go to your video, which is here for me. Nope. Right here, here we go. Video. Woohoo! Now you see there's two of them. This is an AMV I downloaded. This is what I just downloaded right now. Someone's um intro which is 19 seconds long. Which made it great for fast downloading. But this is what your videos will look like. No thumbnails at all. If you want thumbnails, that's another video. PSP video 9. I'll do that if someone requests it. If not, I'm not going to do it. So, remember. What you're going to do is you're going to use YouTube Downloader. Then, you're going to go to YouTube. Get a URL. You're going to minimize. You're going to double click YouTube Downloader. You're now going to enter the URL here. You're going to download to an external folder of your choosing. I chose YouTube. Then you're going to convert to PSP or any other format you wish. You will then uh, select the file of your choosing. And they, they can be FLV, if not any other video possible. The YouTube download the converter is universal. All you need to do is choose all files. And you can convert any other video. Just throwing that out there. Remember, convert to MP4 if you wish for PSP. Not choose what you want. You're going to then, therefore, take that video, MP4 video, after done converting, into your MP root folder, um, your, the root of your PSP. The root will then for transfer you to your video file, 
in your video folder you therefore drag and copy and paste into there and now you disconnect your PSP you go to video on here and then you're done you have a video on your PSP thanks